What is up, YouTube? So today we have a pretty fat patch, as you guys can see, on Thursday of November. If you guys are watching later on, it might already be in effect. Uh, but if not, we're going to be talking about what is coming today after the day of this video is released. So there is a patch preview, one minute summary. But I just want to talk about everything a little bit more in depth because why the hell not? There's a lot of stuff coming to the game. And I think there's like some stuff that are not listed on the video that you kind of want to know about. So and now we have Moonlight Ludwig here and he looks pretty similar to a unit from Honkai Star Rail. If you guys know, you know, kind of reminds me of Silver Wolf in a way, just the male form. Uh, but it is Eternal Wander Ludwig. He is a dark mage. More info on him will be released in the near future. So on to the real patch notes now. Yeah, first thing, we have the balance adjustments, obviously, with Death Dealer Ray and Lone Crescent Bologna being the 5-star ML units that are getting buffed. Basically, all you need to know is ML Bologna will be countering more. Uh, she'll be doing more damage with her S1 because her Soul Burn will actually be extra damage on her S1. And her S3 will be getting one turn cooldown reduced, which is pretty insane. Uh, now you don't have to Soul Burn your S3 all the time to make sure the cooldown's low cooldown will just always be low and honestly because she counters more I think you might want to put her actually on like a lifesteal set or even destruction set and go away from counter set because she'll be healing a lot more anyways so that's that then we have death dealer ray they're removing his focus system making it so that uh his s1 actually will deal extra damage equivalent to the injuries which is very cool and now you can just s3 right off the bat there's a lot of changes basically he's going to be buffed pretty hard and with the sleep changes, he's going to be pretty strong as well. So definitely a unit that I'm going to be testing out because I have him. Same with Lone Crescent Bluona. So we'll be testing out both these units after the buffs and probably making videos for you guys about those units. And yeah, we have Aramintha. Just some changes for PvE, honestly, for Rift. Um, her S2 and S3 are getting changed a little bit. Her S3 will actually stun now almost like 100% of the time if you have the exclusive equipment, which is nice. And yeah, just some other changes that I covered in previous videos. But we have... Uh, Broman, Benevolent Roman, ML Roman getting buffed, nothing too crazy. Really hope this unit doesn't get out of hand though, because this unit is fucking annoying to play against, like super annoying, especially if you change silences. And then we have Cirilla. Honestly, I'm pretty happy for Cirilla because now she'll be good in Rift, and in Rift there's not really many units you can use, but Cirilla will be very good because her new exclusive equipment is going to actually apply defense breaks, so you can actually use her as a secondary defense breaker. Um, so you can actually use her in Rift now. And we have two artifacts being changed, um, Bastion of Perlusha and Durandal. Long story short, these still suck, so not really much to talk about. And then the sleep change, right? So we have, uh, basically when you sleep a unit, they can't evade anymore, and you actually can't critical hit resist. So, actually that was already a thing, uh, which I didn't really know, <laughs> but now you know, okay. I, I don't know if you guys knew, but I didn't know that. Well, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, basically... This is going to make ML Landy, I guess not ML Landy because it was already a thing, but uh, Savior Aiden a lot weaker and just like any evasion unit, which is cool. Savior Aiden is super annoying. Screw that unit. I really hate that unit playing against it. Uh, yeah, evasion is just really annoying to deal with. So anyways, uh, we also have some exclusive equipment changes, blah, blah, blah. Um, basically, things are getting changed. I think you can actually um, change them, right? So the ones that are being changed, you can actually turn them in for the new one. It's really up to you. Uh, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of glad they added this into the game. They should do this for every single equipment change patch, honestly, because Hall of Trials, you don't get enough currency every week to actually, or two weeks, I guess, to actually get all the exclusive equipments. So it's a good way to actually get some of those exclusive equipments that actually get changed. And yeah, next we have the returning user check-in event renewal. So uh, basically, if you return to the game during this time, you'll receive extra rewards. Pretty much good timing on this because basically... You get the speed set, you get summons, you get a ton of heroes, you get like you know the counter set, level 88, very good. And it's good timing because a lot of people will return because of the Moonlight recruitment event, which we'll talk about. Next we have Cess's banners. I'll probably talk about him in a separate video if you guys should pull for him. Who am I kidding? Probably not. This unit is fucking terrible, so I'm not going to make another video on this most likely. This unit is ass, like hot cheeks. Like he needs a buff ASAP. Honestly, actually, you can use him technically in PvP as like a like a dps unit but the investment you have to put on him for him to be good you could use it like that gear on like tempest cernan save your aiden um but yeah this unit is just needs a buff one of my favorite units actually it was my one of my first units i got but unfortunately he's terrible next we have packs so if you want to spend um yeah this is for you not really a fan this will probably be cheap though lucky week dash packs are usually cheap so really up to you also, we're going to see, I'll scroll in for you guys. Also, if you look here after I scroll in, because Smilegate hates giving us big text, um, you're going to see that there are going to be reset gems for level 88 gears. 
So if you guys actually don't have them modded with modification gems, you can reset them. So make sure you do not mod the ones you want to do. Then there's also an Awakening Elixir. So this is basically like the Potion of Ascension, but better because it awakens everyone. Um, it awakens all six stars, so you don't have to use your runes and catalysts. This is what it should have been in the beginning, honestly, but okay, Smilegate finally uh, decided to do that. So, so yeah, let me scroll out again. Here we go. So basically Rift is, or Repeat Battling is being changed. Um, so that it's better UI, which doesn't really matter. It's just going to be one less click, but okay. Uh, World Arena, Draft Mode, you have Fumir, Abyssal, Euphine, Bihu, Wander, Silk, and Sinful Angelica are being removed. Don't really know what they're planning to do with Draft Mode. I thought they would make it into like a matchmaking system. Like It has so much potential to have new players want to play the game. But Smilegate really hates new players, I guess. They don't want to like buff Draft Mode. Like If Draft Mode was actually matchmaking, I would play it so much. And I'll be more, you know, enticed to host tournaments for it. But right now, it's like no one plays, no one knows the meta. So maybe I'll host a tournament in the future just because. But yeah, that's the first set of the patch notes. Let's keep going here. So we have the first event that's not really listed. We have the equipment crafting event. That's Artina's crafting event. I have many videos on this. Um, not really much different. You just want to, you know, craft speed set boots on speed main stat or like penetration set or... Um, you know, injury set if you need it, or destruction set. It's really up to you what you really need and what hunts you can't really farm. Uh, some people are gonna go for torrent as well, so it's really up to you. I'll probably make another video on this just to make clear what you should be going for at, at like all stages of the game because we do have a lot of new players. So we also have the buff event coming. So basically, if you guys weren't aware, we have a spirit altar, uh, basically everything, rune event. Wow, the text is so... Oh, did they make this smaller? Like, <laughs> guys, am I tripping balls? Or like, is the text just like so tiny like I, i'm so scrolled in like look at the graphic size compared to the text anyways end of rant but yeah buff events you guys probably know it's going to be spirit altar uh hunt buff with extra gold and extra hunt craft materials and also they're adding 20 percent rift equipment drop rate increase so that's being a thing that's also going to be stacking with hunt buff so that's going to make rift better than hunt in almost all situations besides for like covenant bookmarks and mystics um so you definitely want to save your leafs then we also have extra AP and extra EXP, and then of course the all buffs with the Burning Passion packs that are very worth it if you like to, uh, like to um, spend a little. So next we have Hoochie's Big Sale. Uh, so n basically what's being changed is the cost, I believe. So it's a pop-up shop with 60% discount. So when this actually happens, I'll probably make a video on it talking about the cost and if it's worth it. Basically, Molagoras are going down like 50%, which is insane. Uh, the Hero Summon Ticket and Artifact Summon Ticket are going down 50-60%, which makes maybe them worth gambling for. I'd probably still say no. We also have the Mana Stones going there. We have Skin Tickets, which are always good. We have Hoochie's Lucky Chest even being reduced, which is already a very good value. So, very, very nice. Just discounts for pretty much everything besides Mystic Metals, which is like the biggest thing that people get from this. But, okay. Uh, we also have the Free Covenant Summon event. I mentioned this before. Starting um, to the 23rd, right? Yeah, 23rd, 24th for global, actually, you'll get 77 summons over 7 days, so 11 a day. Um, pretty cool, we're just getting a ton of summons, and as I'm recording this, I can't stress enough, my eyes are literally bleeding trying to read this for you guys. Uh, you guys can check it out on their main page, but it's not going to be much help, because literally can't see, and I have 20-20 vision. Uh, another free unequip event, honestly, they should just like make this every single weekend, honestly. Now, the reason they don't have this like permanently is because they say, oh, it's going to be bad for the game, like... There's no gold sink, like, bitch, I have no gold, and I don't unequip that much, please. Like, there's so many ways to spend gold, just make unequip, like, permanent, please. Um, but it is going to be starting from today, I believe, or maybe later today, until the end of this week. So it'll only be for four days, so now's the time to do your expedition teams, you know, do your raid before the month raids out, and the month runs out, and just anything else you need to do with this unequip event. And the last thing, but not least, we have the five-star Moonlight Hero recruitment event. So yeah, pretty huge event. You guys probably know what it is because it's been mentioned a million times on my channel and any other content creator's channel. Basically, you just want to go through, do these quests, get some points, and then roll on the board and get the Moonlight five-star of your choice. Now, I'm going to be making another video talking about the number one choice no matter what. But if you guys are interested in my tier list, make sure you guys check out my channel talking about pretty much every unit on the Moonlight Hero board that's available. Also, I have a top five list, but I'll also be making a number one please pick list because I think some people disagree with my choice for the number one unit, but I have so many reasons why, and I'll be explaining them in that video, so hopefully you guys watch that. But as you guys know, you pick your unit. If you get it early, nice, you can spend your points. 
on these extra goodies here, like Potion of Ascension. Don't know why it's not the, the Awakening one, Elixir Awakening, whatever. Then we have the Catalyst Chest and some other stuff. So yeah, pretty much it for this patch. It's a pretty huge patch, I'd say, but yeah, I don't know why the text is so small, I guess text got nerfed <laughs> it's also like what's annoying me is like the text is inconsistent like it's bigger here and then it's like super tiny here like anyways end of my rant um that's pretty much it and hopefully you guys enjoyed this update and if you guys want to see more content like this make sure you hit that like button and if you watch it till the end make sure you guys let me know down below what change you're looking most forward to from this patch peace